Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. I am going to announce my new offense in this video. I was running or I ran the uh, Panthers offense, the gun bunch specifically for the last, let's say, two to three months. Really have not experimented with anything other than I ran trips at end briefly and I ran briefly some strong close. But this is going to be my next new project. I'm going to run the Jets bunch offense. I'm going to stick in bunch, but I'm not go I'm going from bunch offset to regular bunch because I feel like it's just a little bit more flexible, in my opinion. I don't like double post as much anymore. I feel like I can get picked on it pretty easily because I've, I'm just so used to the reads right now. And it's I'm not really paying attention anymore. And that's kind of bad because that means that I can miss a couple reads. And it's just, I don't think I'm playing as well as I want to. And I think switching office is going to help. Now we're going to go to the practice field real quick and I'll show you a couple of reasons why I want uh, the Jets offense there's there's some other good bunches Seattle has a good bunch uh, another one is Washington uh, Detroit Lions is pretty popular but I'm going with the Jets bunch for two reasons uh, because of this Jets dig play you can see that the fade is coming from the inside wide receiver or the slot wide receiver in the bunch that is in my opinion kind of preferable I'll show you why in a second and the other place this mesh I want to show you just briefly what these two plays uh, can do and then we'll already end the video. I just want to give you guys an update because I'm on vacation right now as you're watching this, this is pre-recorded. But I want to uh, let you guys know why I'm switching. So uh, the thing is, if I'm calling just cover three right here, uh, actually, uh, give me a second. I have to actually um, uh, reorder the depth chart so I have the best players on the field. My bad, you guys. Going to do that real quick. But... One important thing for me was I need that fade to be on the slot wide receiver, not the outside wide receiver, as it is in Seattle. You can see if I put a corner, oh my god, I have to actually run this play for now. Boom, go down. Let's try that again. So now we have the right personnel. If I put Hopkins on the corner out and I motion him to the outside, that's an easy cover three, but you guys probably already know that. And that is what I like so much about this play. This is so wide open, even though Tom Brady has a noodle arm, he can get it to my guy pretty easily. Now that is the one reason why I want it, uh, why I want this playbook. The second reason is going to be this mesh. I'm going to come out in uh, cover two man right here. I'm going to press, I'm going to shade underneath and to the inside. And still, you'll see how we can get an inside release with this R1. And we can kind of run away. That's about as well as it'll ever be covered right there. It even got knocked out. I promise you it's not going to be covered like that. On a regular we'll try that again gonna audible to mesh right here still we get the same animation really in EA sports uh, you guys see I got the uh, let me just uh, do it regularly I just press and then shade underneath now it should work properly yes so now you can see how I get a free release right there it's kind of it's kind of an up the field drag so if I motion, if I motion snap it across the formation, as you will see right here, you can also come out with the punch to the short side on this and against man coverage. If I audible to mesh right here, I can motion snap times and you see how his rod does not flip. That is great for us because that means that we can hit him right there on the outside. So those are the two reasons. I want the fade from the inside wide receiver and I want this mesh rod. Now there are a lot of other plays in this course. I will show this on YouTube and I will do a reference sheet on Payhip for five bucks. It's going to be pretty cheap. Everything that's on Payhip is going to be in the video. But if you just want to have a quick look at it, if you want to have it uh, broken down uh, by hand, just so you guys can have something to look at, some pictures of the setups and everything. If you guys want that, obviously check out the Payhip links that is in the description. It's going to be up in, I think, four weeks or so because I have to get comfortable with this offense yet uh, first. I have to run it in a couple of weekend leagues. But this is going to be it. A second thing is I will do the bunch tight end. This is going to be 100% for free. I don't think I'll do a reference sheet for this. But this, this formation alone is enough for pro players to run. This is enough of an offense for pro players. So it's enough for me. Definitely because I'm not as good as them. I don't need. I'm not playing the same kinds of players they are. And if they can win with this, then I can win with this for sure. And this bunch, the combination of the two is just killer. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. These are just some minor tips that you guys can expect. There are many setups, I think. Let me actually look. I have I have my uh, drawing board. Be ready for that. This is going to be coming in the next month or so. Until next time. Goodbye, guys. May I believe in next video? Okay, I'm, I'm already going ahead of myself. 
next video is going to be the first part of the gun bunch tight end because i'm a little bit more familiar with this bye for now goodbye guys